Devri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 36. Then the people of the land took Eth Yahu Achaz, the son of Yoshiahu, and made him king in his father's stead in Yerushalayim. And Yahu Achaz was twenty and three years old when he began to reign. And he reigned three months in Yerushalayim. And the king of Mitzrayim put him down at Yerushalayim and condemned at the land in a hundred talents of silver and a talent of gold. And the king of Mitzrayim made at Elichim, rather Elachim, his brother, king over Yahuda and Yerushalayim, and turned at his name to Yahu Yachim. And Nico took at Yahu Achaz, his brother, and carried him into Mitzrayim. And Yahu Yachim was twenty and five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eleven years in Yerushalayim. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah Eloheu. Against him came up Nebuchadne Setzar, king of Babel, and bound him in fetters to carry him to Babel. Nebuchadne Setzar also carried of the vessels of the house of Yahuwah to Babel and put them in his temple at Babel. Now the rest of the acts of Yahu Yachim and his abominations which he did and that which was found in him Behold, they are written in the Sefer of the kings of Yashadael and Yahuda, and Yahu Yachin, his son, reigned in his stead. Yahu Yachin was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months and ten days in Yerushalayim. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahweh. And when the year was expired, King Nebuchadnezzar Setzar sent and brought him to Babel with the goodly vessels of the house of Yahweh, and made at Sidiki Yahu his brother, king over Yahuda and Yerushalayim. Sidiki Yahu was one and twenty five years old when he began to reign and reigned eleven years in Yerushalayim. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah Eloheu, and humbled not himself before Yermiyahu, the prophet, speaking from the mouth of Yahuwah. And he also rebelled against King Nebuchadnezzar, who had made him swear by Elohim, but he stiffened his neck, Rather, but he stiffened at his neck and hardened his heart from turning unto El Yahuwah, Elohai of Yashara'el. Moreover, all the chief of the priests and the people transgressed very much after all the abominations of the heathen and polluted at the house of Yahuwah, which he had hallowed in Yerushalayim. And Yahuwah Elohai of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up early and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of Elohim and despised his words and misused his prophets, until the wrath of Yahuwah arose against his people till there was no remedy. Therefore he brought upon them Eth, the king of the Kazdim, who slew their young men with the sword in the house of their sanctuary, and had no compassion upon young man or maiden, old man or him that stooped for age. He gave them all into his hand. And all the vessels of the house of Elohim great and small, and the treasures of the house of Yahuwah. 
and of the treasures of the king and of his princes, all these he brought to Babel. And they burnt at the house of Elohim, and broke down at the wall of Yerushalayim, and burnt all the places thereof with fire, and destroyed all the goodly vessels thereof. And them that had escaped from the sword carried he away to Babel, where they were servants to him and his sons until the reign of the kingdom of Persia. To fulfill the word of Yahuwah by the mouth of Yahu, until the land had enjoyed eth her Shabbathoth. For as long as she lay desolate, she kept Shabbath to fulfill threescore and ten years. Now in the first year of Koresh, king of Persia, that the word of Yahuwah spoken by the mouth of Yahu might be accomplished, Yahuwah stirred up Eth, the Ruach of Koresh, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom, and put it also in writing, saying, Thus says Koresh, king of Persia, All the kingdoms of the earth has Yahuwah Elohai of heaven given me, and he has charged me to build him a house in Yerushalayim, which is in Yahudah. Who is there among you of all his people? Yahuwah, rather, Yahuwah Eloheyu be with him, and let him go up.